To get the trick we just described to work, the camera had to be set up precisely. I think when it was paused, I don't think that you could see uh, the victim under there anymore. Let's pin that down. Where is the camera set up? Uh, wait, so this is the, the press. Uh, I'm not even sure where the options could be. Maybe like over here. Are the exiles? No. No, it has to be up higher. I'm just looking at where the reticle like grows. It, like here is potentially an option. It was set up right next to the press. All right, I just need to find where exactly it is. Because it was aiming down at the press from like... Well, this is something... Wait, what? Above the press? I, was wrong. I know what I'm looking for. I just don't know where it is. Because like it should be around this area looking down, right? Maybe this is so far back. Uh, where else could it possibly be? Because there's... Oh, no. Well, I don't know, because there's no... It was set up over there. Oh, no. See, if the, if the reticle doesn't grow, I feel like that's not going to be one of the answers, then. But, like, it was definitely set up, like, around this area. Like, was it not? I... Oh, no. All right, I'm going to end up losing here. Uh... Where was the camera set up? Like, I know what I'm looking for, right? Like, it's just one here. I don't want to... I don't want to lose... Oh, I can't... I can't pause the game. Okay. I was just going to pause and look it up so I don't have to redo this all over again. I have no idea. Here? To the side of the press? I don't understand. Cause if it's not like here, I already looked at that. There. I already. Oh my gosh! Screw off. I already hit that location. The video camera must have been set up somewhere around here. Sure. Yeah, I wasn't clicking anywhere around there or anything. That makes sense. I'll have to watch the footage back to see how close I even... Like, maybe I did just completely miss it, but I, I really thought that I already basically clicked around that location. That's why the video was taken from that unnatural angle. If they were recording it like normal, they would have used a better angle. And if it was recorded at such an odd angle, then that proves the trick was used. Uh-huh. Yeah, right. Do video angles in cosplay really have that much well, to do in common? Doesn't really come up all that much in class trials. There was a reason the camera was set up there, but also a reason for the height. Yeah, you had to obscure the body. When the press was stopped, you couldn't really see who was inside it, correct? Correct. That was intentional. The body is mostly hidden by the press, making the swap easier. The camera must have been placed at such a high position, so it would produce that angle. Hmm. I wonder if they used that tripod in the hangar to adjust the camera's height. Did they get that from the warehouse too? Jeez, that place is like a <laughs> Honestly, it really does just have everything. You don't get to make that reference. Then, that logic is correct, right? Kokichi used that video angle trick and switched the victim in the hydraulic press. In that case, Kaito is... Before he was crushed by the press, he was swapped with a different body. I, I'm, I'm going to choose my words carefully before this ends up happening. If the person inside the Exile is Kaito, I dislike this wholeheartedly. If Kaito is somewhere else, I am then confused because that means Kokichi is the only other person that could have died. Uh, in which case, who has been inside the Exosol this whole time? Um, so this has a potential to end very, very badly. But I, there's still, there's still ways for the, for the game to not make this end ba badly. But I'm a little nervous. So Kaito's still alive. Well, wait just a minute. What? But I just summed it up so nicely. 
Yeah, but that still leaves so many questions. Kimiko, the different body you mentioned, what are you talking about? The bodies from the other cases. Okichi's the mastermind, so he... But he's not the mastermind. Wait, the mastermind? Yeah, Kokichi isn't the mastermind, so I don't think he'd be able to produce a body to switch out. Yeah. What? Well, Monokuma, do the rules allow for a body to be reused? Very well, I'll answer that. I would say no. You're giving in pretty easily. Well, it's crucial information to make the trial fair. And also he's on our side now? This discussion is pointless if it's not clear what the culprit was allowed to do, right? <laughs> You're a convenient mastermind, but I guess that makes defeating you worth my time. Now then, regarding the reuse of a dead body. That is impossible. All the dead bodies have already been thrown away. Okay, that's what I would have figured. Thrown away? The other bodies are gone? Then who did Kaito switch places with? Kichi and Kaito were the only ones in the hangar at the time. They were the only ones present during the body swapping trick. And the real victim was the other person in the hangar. Yeah. It wasn't an old body, it could only be. What's wrong, Shuichi? Who did Kaido switch places with? Maki. I think I missed something very important here. Oh? Something important? If I have the timeline right, there were only two people in the hangar at the time. Which means that something had to have been decided before. I have to put that down. Can't let anything escape me this time. Hangman's Gambit. What? Uh, what's the question here? Uh, how are the bodies swapped? I'm not sure. Let's start spelling. Oh, I think we lose. <laughs> oh, we don't have enough time. We don't have enough to do that. That that is my only problem. The it's so weird. So the hangman scambits in the in the past games. Um, I feel like I was always able to figure out the answer. This one, I like the gameplay of it a lot more, but I can never, I never know the answer from the very first jump. I'm always just guessing letters until it makes words. Um, I don't know if that's just an issue with me or the game decided to make the Hangman's game it harder because they were generally very easy to, to, to figure out. But consistently this entire game, the only way to do Hangman's Gambits is for me to just start guessing letters until I can make my own words. But I don't know, maybe they want that? I don't know. All right, whatever. Go ahead and well, I'm just fast forwarding all this. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna retry. Alright, now we just get to start, so I don't even know what I guessed. Uh, pretty sure I try to C. Let's try I. I don't think I tried M. Uh, v. Are we spelling victim again? So we have... I, do you want to give me a C? Here's a... There's a C. Vic... Tim. Oh gosh. There's an I. There's an M. Victim. Uh. uh I don't know. Victim. Oh my gosh. L. I think I already tried P. Come on. Oh my gosh, come on! Uh, victim helped? Is that is that all it is? Alright, I guess that's it. That was something that I was sort of considering. I just didn't know. I just like I don't know the wording for that. Like, oh victim helped. But yeah, okay, so I'm maybe Kokichi and Kaito can this plan together. I can't believe I overlooked this. What do you mean? There were only two people in the hangar at the time the bodies were swapped. Which means they were working together. Yeah. Huh? Working together? Interesting. The only two people involved in the swap were the victim and the culprit. So is Kokichi the victim and Kaito the culprit? The culprit was operating the camera and the hydraulic press while the victim lay inside. 
They switched places while the press and the camera were stopped. Uh huh. Then the person who turned the camera and the press back on was the original victim. To put it simply, both people operated the press and camera at different times. Okay. An impossible trick. Unless the victim and culprit agreed to cooperate beforehand. I could see that. I still don't like the fact that this is probably going to end up with a reveal that Kaito was inside the, the Exosol in here the whole time. Which just does not seem like a Kaito thing to do. Especially with the way that he's been talking to everybody in this class trial. So I will dislike that if that's what ends up happening. But that's what it sounds like it's going for. Sounds bizarre, but perhaps that was the whole point. Commit a crime that was so confusing, even Monokuma would be tricked. But that clears things up so much more, though. Jeez, this culprit's a real jerk. But also, if that happened, wouldn't Kaito still have died from the poison? So, have you realized who done it yet? Culprit of the case. My detective work hasn't failed me. The culprit is inside that exosol. It can only be them. Like, it's making it seem like it's Kaito. Kaito should not be inside that Exosol. The apparent victim we saw in the video was Kaito. Which means... Kokichi was operating the hydraulic press and camera at first. If the two of them switched while the press was stopped, and the culprit who started the hydraulic press again and crushed Kokichi was Kaito. Must be Kaito. Mm. So, the person inside the Exosol. You had me until Kaito. now, but that's that's uh, I'd have to watch through this whole class trial, but this entire time, that has not been a personality that Kaito would be able to replicate this whole time. Not for this long uh, of a time. Has to be Kaito. Not the direct confrontation with Monokuma. Not the way that he's like outsmarting things. I it's just not a Kaito thing. What did you say? So the culprit for this case is Kaito Momota. That is what the ultimate detective has deduced, right? Kaito is the culprit? What? You're joking, right? You can't be serious. I don't want to believe it either. But it's the only way any of this makes sense. Man. My detective work has led me to the conclusion that Kaito is the culprit. I... that still doesn't explain the poison. It doesn't explain him being in the Exosol and just, like, pretending to be Kokichi the whole time. Outside of the fact that, like, oh, it's, it's like, more fun for, like, the game, like, player, but it, it doesn't make sense inside of the, of the world, I don't think. Is that true? Like, you just gave Kaito a completely different personality and had him act like that for multiple hours, like... I don't know. Hey, answer us! If you really are Kaito, then I'm the culprit. Oh? Huh? There's just no way that Kaito can still be alive. Because I'm the culprit. Wait, you? But didn't you say- I saw it with my own eyes. Ooh. Wait. Kokichi drank the antidote that he stole from Kaito. Oh no, what if at this point they had already decided and they like switched clothes or something? Although Kaito wouldn't really need to put on Kokichi's clothes, so it would only have to be the other way around. There's no doubt Kaito died. And he died because of my poison arrow. Yeah, so unless that gets explained. But you told us you didn't want to kill Kaito. Yes, I never wanted to. I wanted to believe that I didn't kill him. But the truth speaks differently. In the end, I was just running away from the facts. Huh? I don't understand. Yeah, me neither. Maki, are you trying to protect Kaito? He's the culprit. You're trying to help him get away? There was only one antidote, so it's more likely he died from my poison arrow. This is the truth. That poison did say that it's 100% fatal, so if, uh, if there's some sort of workaround as to why that didn't work, then it needs to be explained. In the game. It's not decided yet. I could have still killed him with the hydraulic press. Either way, those are the two options. Monokuma knows the answer, right? I don't think he does. Huh? 
Are those the only options? I guess that's how things turned out. No, that can't be. The person in that exosol is... It's not Kaito. I saw Kokichi drink the antidote. Well, does the person in the exosol want to come out? There's no mistake. Kaito is dead. I killed Kaito. There is absolutely... Also, if that was Kaito, there's no way that he would let Maki torture herself like this without, like, coming out to reveal himself. Also, Maki's trying to protect Kaito. I understand how she feels, but if Kaito is the culprit, why did he agree to Kokiji's plan? I can't imagine that Kaito would do something so selfish. There must be a reason for it. I truly believe that. But I have to get to the bottom of this before I can uncover that truth. But Maki, you don't know for certain that Kokichi drank the antidote. What? You saw him drink it right in front of you, but you couldn't confirm he actually did it. So maybe there's another possibility. That he pretended to drink it? That's so weird. Why? I mean, I guess you put on a show for Maki. That way she couldn't uh, know who the real culprit is either. What are you talking about? Possible. That's impossible. There is no other possibility. I killed Kaito. Okay. Let's let's see. I killed Kaito. You're the one who's Oh gosh, I start off so bad. He died from my poison arrow. There's no other possibility. Okay. What do you know? Okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm getting the, the hang of this. You're the one who's wrong. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. We're gonna speed up. Doesn't matter what you say. I'm telling you, this boom. is the truth. Boom, 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 boom. You keep getting in the way. You're there so we go. Oh, whoops. Oh, okay. Just got it. I gotta, like, match those. Oh, I missed all of them. You keep getting in the way. There we go. I was at the scene. Oh, there we go. No, I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I mean, yeah, this is a pretty simple pattern. Here we go. But I won't run away from the truth anymore. Oh, look at this like blocking. There we go. There we go. This might be the best that we've done. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. But I won't run away from the Oh gosh. Because I know what I saw. There we go, there we go. There we go, we're almost there. I'm not wrong. I missed. I kept quiet till now. There we go. believe I didn't kill him. There we go. I was like, we have to be right at the end here. I saw Kokichi drink the antidote. Uh, pretended to drink the antidote. It ends here. I... Okay. I mean, I guess if there's like a whole plan to like trap Monokuma, then Kaito... I just, I don't know. I don't believe in Kaito's ability to uh, pretend to be Kokichi for this long and let Maki like destroy herself in the process. He pretended? To drink it? Drinking the antidote was part of his lie. Maki could only see so much through the window. She didn't confirm Kokichi drank it. I believe that Kokichi knew this and just pretended to drink the antidote. After Maki left, he gave the antidote to Kaito. There's a strong possibility that all of this was done to make Kaito cooperate. Hmm. Make him cooperate? The swapping trick required the victim and culprit to work together. Kaito's cooperation was essential to Kokichi's plan. Yeah. However, I don't think Kokichi would be able to sway Kaito easily. I wonder what their plan was. Were they already planning to do something like this before Maki intervened? Or was this sort of like thrown together because they knew that one of them was going to die anyway? He needed leverage. He gave Kaito the antidote in exchange for his cooperation. So this does sound like it was a last second plan. In exchange for his own life, you mean. Kaito had no choice. He had to cooperate after Kokichi saved his life. That's just Kaito's character. 
and Kokichi knew that. He swallowed his pride for the antidote and agreed to participate in Kokichi's plan. Hmm. But didn't Kokichi make this plan? What good is it for him if he's dead? Maybe if it helps us out. I imagine this was all part of Kokichi's plan to confuse us. You wouldn't think that someone would plan their own murder. He went so far as to give up his life just to create this mystery? I don't know. This is all getting so confusing now. Only Kokichi could think of something so nefarious. Who else would agree to die just to execute their plan? Crazy. Why would he go that far? I bet Kokichi was determined to beat me at my own game, no matter what. What it sounds like. But too bad. Shuichi figured out the truth. Sure, it's not delusion. Delusion? A delusion completely off the mark to make you think that I die. But who cares what you guys think? This is between me and Monokuma. Okay. I don't give a crap if the extras in this game get it right or not. Extras? I'm fine with being an extra. <laughs> huh? Why? Mugi, you're the most extra of anybody left. Sorry, rules are rules. If Monokuma gets it right, then he takes everyone's lives, yeah? But if Monokuma gets it wrong, then he'd have no right to take everyone's lives. If Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is, then this killing game can't function anymore. Right? Can't function anymore. Kaito, I believe in So now do we need to lie about who the culprit is so that way we confuse Monokuma? You're cooperating with this plan. You must have a reason. To determine that reason, I need to reveal the truth. I still think Kaito is the culprit. Thinking of it that way makes all the pieces fit. I will show you the truth. The truth you can't deny. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, we got to do this closing argument. Okay. All right. We'll see. What uh, What do we have? What do we have? We have the trail of blood, Exo inside the hangar, hit the Exo soul, and the only antidote. So what do we have? Doing the item from uh, A. Uh, who did Maki hit with the electro hammer? I don't think that's one of the ones. Where did the culprit shoot Kokichi? Get inside the hangar. What do we have? We have the antidote. Oh, we have hit the exosol. Maybe actually. Oh yeah. So this. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's right. Okay. Okay. Exosol inside the hangar. Trail blood. And then the antidote. Okay. Uh, what opened the shutter? No. This hit? Mm, no. No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wasn't there... What opened the shutter didn't got inside this hangar? An exosol... Actually, I don't know if that's right. Okay. The wording on that was a little weird. Okay, so we have... Trail of blood. Oh, there's also this down here. Uh, electro bomb. Oh, wait, I think the electro bomb is gonna come up first. Uh, mm, oh no, from the culprit. The only antidote. Okay, then I think the electro bomb is going to show up. Actually, make the antidote. Evidence did the culprit leave in the bathroom. Maybe that's the trail of blood. Mm. No. What about this one here? Okay. All right. And then we have the electro bomb, which actually came last out of these from the hydraulic press. Wait, what? Where? Where did the electro bomb show up? Not there. What weapon did Kokichi take out? Okay, okay. Alright, so we have the culprit in the press, Kokichi in the press, and drink the antidote. Okay, there was one that said, like, who actually drank the antidote? Right here. 
Okay. And then we just gotta get the order of who went in the press first or whatever. Uh, who's put in first would be the culprit. And then second would be uh, Kokiji. And then we need a spot for this one up here, which is assemble the crossbow. That's gotta be pretty early on. Where did the culprit? No. Here? The culprit assembled the crossbow. Yep. Okay, so let's go in order here. So we have this. Where did the culprit uh, shoot Kokichi? Uh, in the right arm? Okay. Next question mark. Who was hit uh, by the first arrow Maki fired? That would have been... Okichi's back? Yes. And then the second one would have been Kaito's left arm. Then next question mark is up here. Leaving the bathroom. That would be... Uh, I mean both of these, but I did the culprit. Uh, oh wait, what's the other one? Oh, flush down the toilet. Okay, that, that helps. And then, so this is the, the three arrows. Alright, I mean, we put it all together. Let's go over the trick that Kokichi and the culprit created together. Okay. Last night, Kibo saw Himiko from the window of his lab. Yep. She was carrying a black case and heading to the Exosol hangar. That she was. When she reached the hangar, she handed the case to someone through the bathroom window. Yep, someone. I wonder who that could be. Someone is the culprit of this case. Locked in the bathroom, the culprit had asked Himiko to bring them a certain weapon. A disassembled crossbow from Maki's lab. Yeah, and then he assembled it. The culprit was going to use the crossbow to challenge Kokichi to a fight. Okay. Some time passed, and Maki made her way to the hangar. She was going to the hangar to kill Kokichi and save the culprit trapped in the bathroom. Yeah. However, the hangar had an electric barrier preventing her from entering. And so she used her hammer. Her, she had an electro hammer to get around the barrier, in a way. She was able to get inside. She used her electro hammer to disable an exosol and climbed inside. It is very strange, I will say. Like, it's not really that big of a deal, but um, the the amount of electronics that the electro hammers and electro bombs affect versus which ones they don't is, like, very inconsistent. Um, like, for me, I don't know how much it makes sense that you can use the Electro Hammer to disable uh, an Exosol, but then still be able to pilot it and, like, have it work. Same thing, whereas, like, the Electro Bomb disabled, like, the press safety function, um, but didn't stop the press itself from, like, working, or it, you know, disabled uh, the cameras that Monokuma could see in, but not the, the camcorder video camera that was used. So there's a lot of inconsistencies with, like, what electronics count which versus which ones don't, um, which generally it's fine, but if you think about it too much, it's kind of just, like, you know, it's it's like, oh, this uh, doesn't really make sense. But they she present it in a way where it does, I guess. Barrier, so she got inside one. But it's one of those weird things that you just kind of have to overlook and just deal with. Uh, which, like, I do. But it is something that's worth pointing out. Around that time, the culprit and Kokichi began their confrontation. While Kokichi was checking up on them, the culprit ambushed him with a crossbow. But the culprit didn't intend to kill Kokichi. They just wanted to disable him. Yeah. That's why the Ow, that looks like it hurt. For Kokichi's right arm. If they really wanted to kill him, they would have shot him in his vitals. Or at least tried. That arrow went in deep, by the way. That looks like it that that looks like the arrow is like that arrow should be coming out the other side of Kokichi's arm. He didn't want Kokichi to have the chance to summon an Exosol with a remote. While they were fighting, something happened that caught them both off guard.
The shutter of the hangar opened, and an Exosol stepped inside. Kokichi was definitely not expecting an Exosol to interrupt him. No. He pulled out his remote in an attempt to control the Exosol. And it did not work. But Maki leaped out of the cockpit and shot Kokichi with her crossbow. The arrow hit Kokichi right in the back. And it was no normal arrow. The tip was covered in a lethal poison from my lab called Strike 9 Poison. The poison kills slowly. It seems as if Maki wanted Kokichi to confess before he died. But even with poison in his veins, Kokichi continued to spin his lies. Or maybe his truths. We don't know. Maki tried to finish him off with another and now we'll probably never know. But this time, Maki was the one caught by surprise. To keep Maki from becoming the Blacken, the culprit used their body to shield Kokichi. The culprit's left arm was struck by a poison arrow. Maki remembered that there was an antidote in my lap and immediately ran off to get it. The Strike 9 poison slowly circulated through their systems and would soon kill them both. But in that desperate Pretty lucky that she wasn't seen coming and going from the uh, hangar the way that Himiko was seen the one time that she went. He incorporated this unforeseen event into his plan to help him win the killing game. Yeah, Kokichi really just came up with this, like, with his dying moments. He was just like, oh, I'm going to come up with a plan to, like, break the game. Like, break the killing game. Or should I say, help him defeat Monokuma. That was Kokichi's true objective. It's why he claimed to be the mastermind. I mean, he was already challenging Monokuma beforehand, but like... Kokichi closed the shutter so that Maki could not re-enter the hangar. Thus, Kokichi's final lie was set into motion. When Maki returned with the antidote, she couldn't get back inside the hangar. So she went around to the hangar bathroom and passed the antidote through the window. Huh? But after the culprit was given the antidote, Kokichi immediately snatched it. Kokichi drank down all of the antidote while the culprit and Maki watched in horror. It hasn't really been brought up, but I was right about the, the blood obscuring the words that just pointed out poison when the full thing says strike nine poison antidote and blood ended up covering both strike nine and antidote. So that's uh, pretty nice. Maki must have been panicking, thinking the only antidote was now gone. She believed that the culprit was going to die from her own poisoned arrow, but it was all another one of Kokichi's lies. He had only pretended to drink the antidote. Maki tried desperately to break into the hangar, even slashing the control panel. But she couldn't get the shutter to open again. Defeated, she had no choice but to leave. Well, okay, um, really weird question. Didn't we already come to the conclusion that uh, she didn't do that to the panel because the alarm would have went off? So... But that was actually what happened? Because they use that as, uh, to be like, no, and then that's how like an electrobomb was used or whatever. Um, but here they're saying, no, she did try to do that. We Yeah, we never actually clear that up. The, the game immediately, like, uh, very specifically said no, like she didn't try to do that because the alarm would have went off. Um, and so an electrobomb was used instead. Uh, but now they're saying, oh, uh, she tried to do that and couldn't and then left. So, it seems like the game sort of just contradicted itself. I don't, again, I don't think it's that big of a deal. There are a couple of, like, uh, crimes in this game specifically where I, it feels like the developers went for rule of cool instead of, like, ironing out all the little details. There, there's been a couple of the crimes where it's just like, you know, if you think about this, or you missed, you know, you missed this one thing, or you contradicted yourself here, um, in order for, you know... For what you wanted to have happen, happen. I feel like some of the crimes were a little bit tighter in some of the previous games. Uh, these seem like they're 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 sort of contradicting some of their stuff just to you know um, have the overall story and like uh, murder or whatever be like what they want it to be. 
and be like more complicated in like not a bad way but just an observation we were definitely told that uh she did not do that and now we're being told that uh that is what happened Kokichi's plan was to use an electro bomb to knock out Monokuma's surveillance cameras that was why he commissioned Mew to make the bombs in the first place After detonating an electro bomb, Kokichi coerced the culprit into drinking the antidote. In exchange for the antidote, Kokichi asked the culprit to cooperate with his plan. Okay. Kokichi needed to work with the culprit to execute his final lie. Under normal circumstances, the culprit would never have agreed to such a plan. But because the culprit owed him for saving their life, they agree to Kokichi's request. I mean, you might as well. Kokichi's gonna die anyway. Uh, and also, that would still make Maki the uh, the blackened anyway. If Kokichi died, if Kokichi died to uh, the poison arrow, um, and Kaito refused this request, then Maki would still be the blackened. And so, if he wants to protect Maki, then it would also make sense that he would go along with this uh, for for that reason as well. In any case, the two were now working together as accomplices in an insane plan. Imagine this whole thing happens, and then they reveal that Kaito is inside the machine, and he's just there to confirm, like, oh yeah, I did switch the bodies, but actually uh, Kokichi died beforehand to the poison. So Maki was the culprit all along, and you guys got it wrong by voting for for Kaito. They had to work Maybe that's the, the big plot twist. If Kokichi died from the Strike 9 poison, the whole plan would be ruined. After fabricating but I don't think Kaito would let that happen. The culprit dragged Kokichi to the hydraulic press. This is how the swipe pattern blood stain from the bathroom to the press was created. That's a lot of blood. Kokichi, with the support of the culprit, stood in front of the press's control panel. The two of them were finally ready to execute the insane lie. While Kokichi was setting up the video camera near the hydraulic press's control panel, the culprit laid face up inside the press draping their coat over their shoulders. Then, Kokichi activated the press and the camera's record button at the same time. Uh-huh. The hydraulic press came down slowly, all caught on tape for us to see. Normally, the safety function would have triggered, but the electrobomb had disabled it. The press got lower and lower, and just as the culprit disappeared from view, they paused Kokichi both of them. The force stop button and the camera's pause button simultaneously. The two then switched places and also switched roles. The culprit and the victim. Yeah. The would be victim became our culprit and started up the press and camera. Hey, that means if Kaito's alive, that he doesn't have his jacket anymore. His jacket got crushed in the press. That's so sad. Kokichi had saved the culprit's life because his trick required their cooperation. He wanted to win the killing game, even if it meant dying himself. That is crazy, but that is Kokichi. So, Kokichi was crushed by the press, and the whole thing was caught on video. The culprit's left sleeve was dangling from the press, making us think he was the victim. And then where was he hiding during the investigation? Now alone, the culprit... Was he inside one of the exosols that we couldn't open? And tore the hydraulic press's power cord so that it could never be raised again. Yep. This would make it impossible for us to determine the identity of the crushed body. But there was another reason the victim was killed in this way. It obfuscated the cause of death, making the case that much more difficult to solve. This was all part of Kokichi's plan to create a murder not even Monokuma could figure out. With the press disabled, the culprit returned to the bathroom to flush Kokichi's clothes. Yeah, but it didn't quite work. 
Finally, they climbed inside of an exosaw to hide and waited with bated breath. And here they are now in this trial, pretending to be Kokichi. Yeah, that's the part that's just not believable. I just don't think that Kaito would have been able to reasonably pretend to be Kokichi this whole trial and get away with it. It just doesn't feel right. Trying to deceive Monokuma in order to defeat the true mastermind. Like that's just not something that Kaito would do. Like I, I don't know, he's just not really able to change his personality like that. Unidentified culprit trick. That's the that's like the main problem that I have with this class trial. Even though for the most part I'd say this is one of the better ones, but I don't know. I think it might have just gone too complicated for its own good, where it didn't really need to be. Like it did, but like Kaito was not the one to to do that. It's you, isn't it? I don't think it would make sense, but if this was like Maki or something, or, or somebody like with a more someone who's smarter, I like I just don't know how to say it other way. But if it's someone who's smarter and someone who would have been able to go along with the plan, um, I, I just don't I just don't believe in Kaido's ability to impersonate somebody, even with a voice changer. Mota, the ultimate astronaut. But I think that should basically be all my major gripes with this class trial. It's been like 95% good and just like a couple of like really negative things.